The ACO began above a shop. It's a small orchestra which rehearses and then pops up all over the world. The dream was always to have a new permanent home. And here we are. We're in the Nielsen, which is the home of the Australian Chamber Orchestra. I took some time to go through some of our old, old correspondence and uh, with, with the orchestra talking about what we thought in words they wanted to achieve musically. Warmth and clarity and grit was a word that came up quite a bit. And the phrase that stuck in my mind was, uh, it's a space that wants you to play in it. So it's a space sort of inviting. You know, for 60,000 years, people have been gathering on the foreshore of the Sydney Harbour, kind of telling stories, eating, singing, making music. Of course, kind of more recently, this has been a place of trade, people coming together, interacting with other people, living their lives. And for us to be able to continue that tradition is really, um, you know, something really wonderful. We began to first kind of look at the pier and look at the volumes and kind of draw pictures on a number of different napkins and restaurants. It became clear quite quickly that, that we had to kind of moderate our expectations in terms of the volume of the space and in terms of the capacity of the space, um, which was good actually because it made us think about a much more modern, much more flexible space. It's designed to be uh, perfect for chamber music. It's also designed to be able to be used for so many other thoughts or sorts of events, performances. Uh, one of the big features of this space, it has a uh, very variable acoustic here. We've got this magical system called Active Architecture, uh, which digitally effectively moves the walls out. And that gives a much bigger sense of space. We get more reverberance and it sounds like the music is in a much bigger room. There's a few little idiosyncrasies that we, we put in Part of the acoustic design was to try and provide what you might call quasi-random diffusion. There's um, various small holes on the wall which are effectively braille and there's various quotes from Beethoven and things written into that braille if, if, for those who are able to read the braille. And of course you wouldn't know it's there if, you didn't, if we didn't tell you, but it was quite nice to be able to sneak in these little features that do the job, they do the acoustic job, but they do that in a, in a slightly different and unusual way. I do recall the first time the full orchestra came in. And I think we all had our heart in our mouth and they began to play and the look on their face. We just knew that we were going to be all right. <laughs> there were a few tears on that day. From there the... were. This is about people's hopes and dreams. This is where people live their life. Both the musicians, in terms of this is where they come to work every day. But for the audience, they come here for very special experiences given all of the constraints and all of the compromises to actually reach a place where the emotions and the practicalities can be brought together. It's a very special thing. And every single person who's come into the room has kind of shared our sense of excitement about what an incredible place has been created, both for the musicians, but also for our audiences and for the people of Sydney and of Australia.